and welcome back to Pet Food Forum TV. I'm Kristen Levine, and today I'm joined by Maria Langa with, see, I got it right. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> uh, you are the, the business group director for GFK, and you're one of the speakers that everybody looks forward to hearing. What, what does everybody need to know about freeze-dried raw? Freeze dry raw, yeah, it's definitely a, a newer category. It's still a very small category in the market, but one that's growing rapidly. It's similar to like a raw frozen product, but the difference is that you have the moisture extracted. So you ending up basically with a freeze dried uh, or a raw product that is freeze dried and very you know easy to handle right. and has all the nutrients and vitamins locked in and yeah so with that very premium product. Um, so how does freeze dry compare to the other raw categories? So you basically have raw frozen which is if you have a, a raw meat product right. you know without just as it is right. uh, and then there's freeze dried and there's dehydrated or air dried pet foods and both are similar, uh, or both have the same concept where the moisture of the raw food is being extracted. Right. So, you know, with freeze dried, you apply cold. Mm -hmm. With dehydrated or air dried, you apply warm. Right. Uh, so, those, that's basically at the end, you're ending up with a, a raw product but without the moisture. So, with that, it becomes shelf stable. Okay. You don't need a freezer to, uh, to you know, store your product, uh, which is great for, you know, the retailer as well as. Uh, at home, you know, it's easier to store. Okay. Right now, we're seeing about, you know, for if we combine all three of those frozen or raw categories together, frozen, dehydrated, and freeze dried, probably looking at about three to four percent of all sales. So it's still very small. Yes. Um, but I think, you know, in the future, we can probably there might be as much of a accounting of 10% of the of the marketplace. Yeah. Excellent. Well, Marie, we appreciate your insight as always, and thanks for your time today. Thank you. And for having uh, me. sure. We'll be back with more interviews here at Pet Food Forum TV.